The explosion went off at about midday at a garage here in Buwanika Zone. A 25-year-old mechanic, Moses Sebulime, perished in the incident. The cylinders blew up and unfortunately it killed uh, one person called Moses who was uh, welding and uh, that's all I can state for now. A somber mood engulfed the area as curious onlookers stared at the pieces of shrapnel that caused the death. By the time NTV reached the scene, Sebolime's body and the injured three men had already been taken to Mulago Hospital. Eyewitnesses gave a shocking account of the lethal explosion. I was working near a container. Then suddenly, I had a loud bang. People said there were clothes flying in the air. We then saw Moses' body splitting too. After the fatal explosion, shrapnel from the cylinder flew and damaged cars in a building some distance away. I'm standing at a bus terminal that's about 300 meters away from the garage where the gas cylinder is said to have exploded from. Now the residents here say that the cylinder flew all the way here with such great force, creating a huge hole in this wall behind me. The roof of this building was not spared either. The old Kampala police commander suspects the explosion was caused by a cylinder that was refilled beyond its capacity. We can't tell exactly what was the cause, but I think it was overcharged. Police have contacted the gas suppliers to get to the bottom of the explosion. Who should be able to come and assure us that uh, the gas, the rest of the cylinders are no longer a threat to the public? Police further say this garage where the cylinder exploded was closed some time back because it is situated at a crowded place. But strangely, it resumed operation shortly after. Chris Ochamringa, NTV, Weekend Edition.